most of all, I stand proud of you, the supporters, the people, the backbone, the heart and soul of Trinidad and Tobago. So we feel great pride as we stand before you, but also great humility. My friends, there's nothing more humbling than service to the people. And every day I remind myself that I was not born an MP. I was not born a government minister. In fact, my first job was in a hardware store, packing shelves. And my second job was, guess where? At KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. But thanks to the People's National Movement, thanks to a good PNM education, thanks to all those who have gone before us, thanks to the vision of our leadership today by the grace of Almighty God, this former worker of a hardware store and a fast food restaurant stands before you as the youngest member of a PNM cabinet and the Minister of Social Development. My brothers and sisters, the PNM has always been about creating opportunities for the people to achieve their fullest potential. And it all starts with a vision. The People's Charter of 1956 and the Chagramas Declaration of 1970 outlined the vision of a nation that passionately pursues a number of objectives. It seeks the full development of its people. It seeks to continuously improve its systems of government. It seeks to integrate with its Caribbean neighbors and it seeks to ensure that our nation is respected in international matters. This vision was first outlined 53 years ago. Some of us were not born as yet. I was not even a glint in my father's eye in 1956. Some of us were not born back then, but thanks be to God, this vision has been sustained and defined and refined and fleshed out and advanced to the point at which today it is becoming a reality. And now our Prime Minister has taken this vision to a whole new level with the 2020 developmental agenda. I have yet to hear anyone in my lifetime who can better envision and describe and communicate the future of Trinidad and Tobago than our political leader. No one else comes even close. But my friends, his voice cannot be the only voice, or else he will go hoarse. He will probably lose his voice. So he needs his MPs and his ministers to also share and communicate and implement this vision. But the ministers and MPs cannot do it alone. We also need you, the people of Trinidad, the supporters the of the People's National Movement, to do the same thing. Not to be blind followers, but to understand and embrace and to share the vision as well. That is why we are here in Woodford Square tonight. That is why we are overjoyed to see that so many of you have turned out and many of you have come with your families. That is why we have recommissioned the University of Woodford Square. And that is why soon we are heading to the College of Harris Promenade and beyond. And that is why the strength of the People's National Movement will be felt in every region and every community and every constituency and every neighborhood and every street and every family in Trinidad and Tobago. This will never be an easy task, my brothers and sisters. This will never be an easy task because you know and I know that Trinidad and Tobago is a nation of experts. Everyone has the solution and the answer for everything. Everyone has the answer. Prove it to yourself. Stop any random Trini on the street and talk to him. He will give you the solution to world hunger. He will tell you how to solve the traffic situation in the country in one day. He will tell you how to soften wild meat using a zaboka leaf or a rusty nail. He may even tell you how to make boy children instead of girl children. Experts. Last time I stood in Woodford Square, I even had a lady walk up to me and give me a plastic bottle with a blue liquid in it and tell me it was a homemade cure for swine flu. 
I gave it to the Minister of Health. He said it was not a cure, but he tried it, and it was good for other things. I didn't ask any questions. But it's true, my friends, it's true. We are a nation of experts. And so, my friends in the PNM, you can only influence the knowledge and the psyche of others. You can only influence the knowledge and the psyche of your country if you yourself are very well informed and you yourself are knowledgeable. That is why we are here. My brothers and sisters, the People's National Movement is the only political party that has pursued the full development of all the citizens of this country. Do you agree? Did the NAR do it? Did the UNC do it? Not at all. They attacked the people. Their ministers engaged in blatant corruption. They left us with a scarred and bruised economy. They created no opportunities for ordinary people to better themselves. Your government, my friends, has done the exact opposite. The PNM has always been about creating opportunities for families and individuals to live a better life. This is a proud and defining characteristic of this party from day one. And that zeal for the people's welfare has over the years only gotten deeper and stronger and more sincere and more passionate. And we are doing it all for you, ladies and gentlemen. This pride is your pride. This country is your country. This government is your government. But that pride can only be truly deep felt if you are properly informed, if you know the facts about what we've achieved in the social sector and in other sectors since 2009, and if you know our plans for the future. And we are all looking forward to the address of the Honorable Patrick Manning tonight to inform us on all of these developments and where Trinidad and Tobago is aligning itself for the future of its people. You must be armed with the facts. I strongly believe that the best weapon in the fight against poverty is education, and the PNM's record in that arena is unchallenged in this part of the world. Free education from nursery school to the tertiary level, and now to the level of a doctorate, has made you the envy of citizens across the Western Hemisphere. This does not come cheap. But I can think of no better investment than a song investment, sound investment in our youth and in our next generation. So whether you are a young person, a mother, a father, a grandparent, or an ordinary patriotic citizen, you must recognize that for the first time in the history of the English-speaking Caribbean, an entire generation can pursue any career of their dreams, unlimited by the income of their parents. This has never before been achieved in a country so soon after independence. In fact, it has not been achieved in many countries that are hundreds of years old. We have surpassed all our former colonial masters, and we have now ensured that you, or your son, or your daughter, or your grandchild, has the opportunity to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a historian, a sociologist, a CEO, a business manager with no restrictions based on gender, class, background, surname, whether you're black, brown, white, green, yellow, or blue, whether you're from town or country, whether you're from Lavantil or Charlottesville or Enterprise or Cocorit or Maloney or Coquier, no matter, La Hoqueta, no matter what your financial situation is at this point in time, the PNM has created opportunities for the success of any family and any individual without limit. Can the Portuguese say that? No. Can the Spanish say that? No. Can the English say that? No. Can the United States of America say that? No, my brothers and sisters. Master Day, done. We have so many success stories, like the little girl who was born with cerebral palsy, cerebral palsy, but through her determin determination and the love of her humble parents and the opportunities this government has provided,